is blue. Strip down, it's raw, and it's emotional. Come on, stand up, get close to the stage, and give it up for Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones. Appreciate it. And the angels are singing. That's right, that was the name of that song. That's another thing I wrote in the wee hours of the night. It's called Tell Me Baby What's Going On. It ain't on a record yet, but it'll be out in September sometime. Hope you can find it. Little thing in the tradition of the Chicago blues by us old men up here. We've been doing it for a while. All right. you baby 
but I think I spoke too soon. Nobody talks when I walk into the room. Tell me, Mama, tell me what's going on. Are you doing me wrong? Well, my back is turned. Oh, come on, man. Now, nobody looks me in the eye. You know, they just turn and walk away. What have I done? To be treated this way. Tell me, my mind. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Are you doing me wrong? When my back is turned. blues like I wanna. Ain't nothing in the world like doing the blues like you wanna. You give me nothing. You give me nothing but the blues. You give me nothing. You give me nothing but the blues. You give me nothing but the blues, baby, but I still go for you. You always lie to me. You always been untrue. You always lie to me. You always been untrue. You give me nothing but the blues, baby, but I still go for you. You made my night so miserable You made my day so blue You made my night so miserable You made my day so blue You give me nothing but the blues, baby I still go for you
Appreciate it. It's starting to get dark, so I think we're going to slow it down for you.
as I sit here in my dark room. Tears falling down from my eyes. I got the blue. As I sit here in my dark room.
the money If you got the time You could have it all, baby Yes, you can If you would be mine Just give me love Oh, give me love That's all I need That's all I need I got a brand new home And I got a brand new car I could go, baby, yes I can Wherever you the man, Mike Wilt. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Dave O'Neill, and this is the Blues Plate Special. You've just been watching Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones at the Berlin Blues Fest. And for your enjoyment, we've got uh, Sugar Ray here for you to fill you in. Ray, thanks for coming on the show. No problem, Dave. Glad to be here. Well, it's a great day in Berlin, and we uh, kind of yeah. caught you off to the side here now. But uh, So uh, maybe we can start off by you can tell us uh, who was playing with you that day. I, know, I recognize uh, Monster Mike Welch. And, Monster uh, Mike Welch. Yep. He's the newest member of the Blue Tones. Maybe uh, he's been with us a year and two months. Uh, Mudcat Ward on the bass. Uh, he's been with me for the better part of 25 years, the same as uh, Neil Gouven, who's the drummer. Uh, on and off for 30 years I've been playing with uh, those two guys. You know, we used to have Anthony Girassi on piano, but now we're down to a four-piece unit. And playing with Mike has just been a pure joy. Yep. Monster Mike. Yep, Mike's got a lot of history as well, too. In fact, the whole band <laughs> has a lot of history, including yourself. Yeah. Uh, the, your background with uh, Ronnie Earl and, um, you know, founder of uh, Room Full of Blues as well, too. You were them with them for, for a long stint. seven years, beginning in uh, 91, 1991. But yeah, it's like a musical circle that's been going on through my whole life, starting with Ronnie Earl. That's when I started professionally, really. We'd meet in Providence and play uh, a few little clubs, the Met Cafe, and uh, like every Tuesday night, and we'd do the speakeasy in Cambridge. Uh, Ronnie and I and Mudcat and Neil were with, with us then. That's how far back we go. And of course, Ronnie left to join Room Full of Blues, and then uh, after he was with them for a few years, I ended up joining Room Full of Blues, and. I had a guy named Kid Bangham on the guitar in the interim who joined the fabulous Thunderbirds, replacing Jimmy Vaughn 
along with Duke Roblot, who founded Room Full of Blues. It just goes around and around. Yeah. I've got this whole theory that the beach uh, breeds uh, music. You know, the whole Bruce Springsteen and Ashbury Park and the East Street Band and, and Room Full and, and you down here in Westerly. So, um, you mean being near the ocean? You might have a point there, because I get asked all the time, what's in the water where you come from? I mean, just just the list goes on, like, forever. The great talent that comes from around Rhode Island is, Rhode Island is well known all over the, all over the world for yep. its, uh, you know, for its uh, talent of blues and jazz. Yep, a lot of good music coming out of the area. Now, now, speaking of Roomful, now, when you were with them, didn't you write a few tunes that were Grammy-nominated? Sure did. Uh, we uh, did a record called Turn It On, Turn It Up. Uh, I did. I wrote like three songs on that record. Uh, also, Super Harps. I uh, did a record with James Cotton, Charlie Musselwhite, and Billy Branch. That was nominated for a, a Grammy uh, in the best uh, traditional blues category. I wrote three songs on that one. We lost out to BB King and Eric Clapton, so we're in good company. Yeah, yeah excellent company. <laughs> uh, so speaking of which, now with uh, Severin Records. Severin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you've got Rockin' Sugar Daddy is the, the current one out, right? Yeah, that's been out, uh, I call it new, but it's been out a year or so. Um, it's been doing very well for us, and so has the company. They're a great company to work for. Uh, and so we're going to have a new release come out in October, maybe a couple of months from now, called And the Angels Sing. And the Angels Sing. Yeah. What's that about? Is, is it your regular it's, traditional? Well, you know, I was, I was sitting here not long ago getting ready to go into the studio. We just recorded it maybe two months ago. Going through my old 78s, I collect 78 records, spinning them on, on my old player in there. Uh, and there was an Earl Bostic, uh, I think it was Earl Bostic anyway, 78 I was playing, instrumental, called And the Angels Sing. It was a song that was written, sort of a, a, a jazz classic written many years ago. And it just dawned on me, well, I could take that horn part and put it to harmonica. So I started playing around with it. And I was in the studio maybe three or four days later and uh, brought it to the table. And in one or two takes, we, we did this song called Andy Angels. I adapted it to the harp. And uh, Severin liked it so much that uh, we're going to call the record that. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So who else is on the record? Just what you saw, uh, Monster Mike, okay. Mudcat, and Neil. And w w for a guest, we have Anthony back for two or three songs. Yeah, I believe he's up north now, isn't he? He lives in uh, Vermont, northern Vermont, way out in the, in the, in the hills uh, near near Stowe. Got a beautiful place. Yeah. It's a little bit too bit much of a commute. <laughs> yeah, it's a long <laughs> like, Yeah, five hours, too much. But uh, Now, what did I hear about you um, doing a big band uh, CD? Yeah, I'd like to. I haven't done it. I mean, I've d done things most recently with Doug James, okay. the baritone player. They used to play with me in Roomful, and now he's with Duke Robillard. Uh, so it's, it's sort of a big band format. I sing a couple of songs for him. But uh, in my spare time, as such as uh, last night, I put a big band show together. Uh, so with Duke and all, and my old buddies on the horns. So, I mean, it's there's talk, so it'll happen soon. I don't know when to put something like that out on vinyl. On vinyl, on the... Uh, Plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing too. Of course, you know, every, there's still uh, vinyl being produced now too, and I think it's yeah. going to come back and be a little bit oh, bigger yeah. too. Yeah, well, you know, when it, my first records were, were really records, and my son, he's 29 now, but his uh, buddies used to come over the house and look, look, Jesse's dad has records, <laughs> you know, that he's actually on. It's like, almost feel like an antique myself. <laughs> we're all <laughs> antiques. Uh, so, um, so you, you've got the, the, the new record uh, plant, and uh, yeah. I think you just came off the road uh, from a tour, didn't you? Yeah, I was out in the Midwest, Ohio, Michigan, you know, did some, did some fest mainly festivals. So it was a good tour, Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh. Um, and we just got back maybe a week ago. We're going off again next week to the same area, India, Indiana Indianapolis. Right place called the Slippery Noodle, um, and also a festival in Indiana. And this trip will be just a little shorter, maybe I think it's seven or eight days. Well, that's not too bad, then. That's a good That's a good amount of time. Ten days and under is, is what I like. You know, when I was in Roomful, we traveled extensively, 250 dates a year. Um, I like being home. I do get homesick. Maybe I'm in the wrong business because uh, I'm always traveling, but... But it's a, it's a good balance I have in my life, you know, to uh, not play as often as I did 
and uh, just to go out on the road for a week, two weeks. In April, we were in Norway, Sweden, Belgium, Denmark, and all the, the uh, Scandinavian countries for two and a half weeks. I heard that's a great audience for the blues, too. Fabulous. You know, it's been that way, I think, always, though. Their love of and respect for American Roots music. It just shows when, you, when uh, we, our crowds are packed every night, Monday, Tuesday, didn't matter, Sundays. Uh, we played every night. I think we had one night off in the span of two and a half weeks. And every night was just an enthusiastic audience who had all my product, you know, even the, even the records. And we used to do 45s called EPs, extended plays. They have those. I don't even have them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Art DePaldi was, uh, was telling me he considers it the blues bizarro world over there. He says where all the music is reversed and blues is the most popular. Yeah, you feel like a rock star out there or something. It, it is really popular. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Well, I, I won't take any more of your time here. You know, we want right. to get back to uh, more of your music coming up. So don't go anywhere. How cool was that? And um, keep watching because we've got a few more cuts from uh, Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones. See you. I'm gonna rock you little After me, I'll even whoop your papa. You know he's twice my size. Maybe then he gonna realize that I'm a rockin' sugar daddy. Oh, I'm rockin' all night long. I'm a rockin' sugar daddy. Rock my baby all night long. Let's rock it a while.
Thank you so much. Of course, that's the title track of a rockin' Sugar Daddy CD that uh, will be for sale, if not already, over there in the tent. I'd be glad to sign it, hug you, whatever it takes. Bring a copy on home. <laughs> and we got a new record, too, coming out in a couple of months. Check that out. It's called And the Angel Sings. Right now, let's shake your hip a little bit. on this sugar man's mind. You don't know. I'm a love of mankind. Don't have to move my head. I don't even move my hand. I don't move my lip. But honey, I shake my hip. Ow! Do the hip shake. Do the hip shake. Do the hip shake. Do the hip shake. Now ain't that big.
Are the speakers on? Are the main speakers on? Mike's dead. This mic's dead too. But well, that's all right. We'll do an instrumental. Hey, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's the blues. Before we go, I'm going to do a thing called Off the Wall. And God bless you. Kiss your neighbor, be good to your neighbor, and they'll be good to you. It'll be a better world. God bless you all, and well, the PA ain't working, so let's get out of here with it. Off the wall!
so much. We'd like to thank you and all the Lions Clubs and all you people for coming out and spending your afternoon with the blues. All the wonderful blues musicians here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep it alive. We are the Blue Tones, been together forever. With Mudcat Ward on the bass. Neil Goobin on the drums, yeah. Monster Man, Monster Mike Welch on the guitar. I'm a Sugar Man. Sugar Rain, thank you very much. <laughs> we appreciate it. Drive careful, won't you? said if I did another one, they're going to throw me in jail. But that's all right. I've been there before. <laughs> My home is a prison. <laughs> well, as you all, some people are leaving. That's all right, but there's a few diehards left. Maybe we'll do just a little thing for you. All right.
I'm so sad, I'm so blue, I'm fooling. 